Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Bluetooth on literally any PC that hasn't got Bluetooth already built into it. And the way we're going to do that is by using this nifty little wireless USB Bluetooth adapter. I have already got this out of the box, so I can show you guys. It is this little thing here, and as you can see, it is literally so, so tiny. It hasn't got any wires at all. If my camera would focus on it, there you go. And this is the Bluetooth adapter that we're going to be using to get Bluetooth on our PC. And I just want to go ahead and hop onto our computer right now before we plug this in so you guys can see my computer does not have Bluetooth built into it uh, already. So we're going to go ahead and just type in Bluetooth. And straight away when we come to the screen, you can see my computer hasn't got Bluetooth built into it because there would be a button here to turn on or off Bluetooth. But again, just to show you guys a bit further, if I click to connect anything to Bluetooth, it says couldn't connect. Uh, Windows device can't turn on PC. Sorry, Windows device can't turn on Bluetooth. Uh, that's because we haven't got Bluetooth on my computer. And now all we're going to do is you can plug this into literally any USB connector you have on your computer. You can plug it into the back ones. All the ones out on top of it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to plug it into the ones on top. Okay, so that has now been plugged in. And as you can see straight away, the Bluetooth sign has turned on. Well, it has come up and now we've turned it on. It will say start in Bluetooth device. And just like that, we now have Bluetooth on our PC. And we can go ahead and add devices. Uh, it, would, it shouldn't come up with that. Couldn't connect. There you go. So devices are showing up um, on here for us to connect to. And it is literally that easy. There will be a link for this one in the description. It's the one I use to connect my PS5 controller to my PC. And it is really, really good. I haven't really noticed any input lag or at least any significant input lag. So yeah, like I said, this adapter will be linked in the description because it is a really good one. If you guys do want to check it out and you ain't got Bluetooth on your PC, uh, like me and you need an adapter then this is definitely the one i would go for i hope you guys did find this video helpful if you didn't don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on bell notifications because i upload videos just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace